when you go. What what microphone do you have? Uh, you speaking to me, sir? Uh, you speaking to me, sir? Yes, sir. That thing is loud in Illinois. Yes, sir. This is uh, a homebrew concoction, a uh, condenser microphone through a, um, a uh, art uh, preamp, uh, which furnishes the uh, the uh, voltage for the uh, for the condenser mic uh, into uh, an older, about a 35-year-old uh, uh, 990, Yezu 990, uh, heavily modified in transmit and receive, and then up to a no SWR a dipole antenna in transmit. We're using two 10-foot uh, loops in receive along with four other uh, uh, internet SDR receivers uh, to give us uh, some uh, capabilities uh, to uh, pick up uh, our 100 watt friends a little better. Roger. Watt friends a little better. Roger. Of that. <laughs> but that was okay. I appreciate the effort. Uh, good afternoon to you. KD9QFX. Over. Roger. Give me your call sign uh, phonetically, please, sir. Kilo, Delta, Niner, Quebec, Foxtrot, X-Ray. Over. Uh, roger, roger. Well, we got you on the tape, sir, and if you want to hear your audio, you would go to YouTube and do that call letter search for KC9VKV, followed by today's date, 11-13-20, and you will be right at the uh, end of that. Roger. Okay, we definitely appreciate it, and uh, we definitely will uh, take a look at that. Well, take a listen to that, I would say. Okay, appreciate it. Have a great evening. Have a super safe weekend. Over. Roger, what's the name there? Kenny. Uh, Kenny, and uh, is that a hand mic you're using? Yes. Yeah, it's uh, Yezu uh, 450D there, over. Roger, I would take that microphone to the side of my mouth. I would make it touch the side of my mouth and talk across it. Try that and let me hear you. Yeah, I've heard that before. I've heard that before. I'm, I wonder, I'm doing it right now. Is it better? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You pick up a lot of transient stuff uh, when you work directly into that mic, but uh, you eliminate most of that when you just pull it to the side of your mouth. Actually, touch the side of your mouth and talk across it. Roger. Okay. I'm definitely going to uh, take that advice. Uh, yeah, I've, I've heard that before. It, it takes out a lot of the, uh, I guess, the voice bumping on the mic and stuff. Well, it's, it's transients uh, from your voice that get in there with your words. And uh, what we want to do is just transmit the words, not the uh, mouth noises. So uh, that will minimize it. But uh, i tell you what, if you really wanted to uh, do one better than that, would be to go down to your local music store and get yourself a foam windscreen that will fit right over that hand mic. Uh, and uh, you, you'll need a, a little piece of uh, masking tape to put on your uh, your hand mic on the right side of it because uh, when you put, when you put that phone windscreen over it sometimes it's hard to tell which is the right side of the mic to be talking into so just put yourself a little uh, uh, masking tape uh, white masking tape on the right side that sticks below the uh, the windscreen and then you can tell that you got the right end of the microphone Roger okay that's a, that's a good idea I, I will definitely do that let me put it back to the side again. Yeah, I will definitely uh, do that. I'm thinking about getting a, uh, a microphone processor that goes, uh, works with the cable and plugs right into the radio. Uh, yes, sir. Now, what radio are you running? It's a uh, Yezu 450D. 450 dog, is that a Roger? Yes. Roger. Well, it sounds pretty good. Uh, how, uh, do you know uh, where your uh, mic EQ is on that radio? Yes, I put it at uh, six. I put it at level six. Well, now you know you have an, you have adjustments. Uh, it's not just one thing. Usually, you at least have two controls uh, or three controls, depending normally. Roger. Well, this one has. Um, uh, as far as the tones and stuff like that, it has six, no, I'm sorry, I think it's nine different settings there, over. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, uh, let me give you a hint there. 
uh, Kenny, uh, that can be uh, difficult. But what what you want to do is try to keep your mid range flat. Try to keep your mid range uh, frequencies flat, and that would be uh, like from uh, 500 cycles to um, 1.5 k. Put all those uh, neither cut nor boost uh, flat mode, because what you want to do, what an equalizer does. It um, uh, balances the top end to the mid-range and the bottom end to the mid-range. Excuse me. And, um, <clears throat> excuse me. So, um, you know, um, if you boost the mid-range, it's so much harder for the top end to catch up with it and also for the bottom end to catch up with it. So and and usually that would be like in a three gain uh, three uh, control equalizer where the mid range is one control and the top end is one control and the bottom is is one control. Now you've got eight or nine controls there to deal with. So the principle is still the same. You want to keep the mid range from 500 cycles to 1.5k in the flat mode, and then you would take the uh, top end uh, EQs and the bottom end EQs and adjust those to where they balance with the uh, with the mid range. And maybe we could do that uh, some other day, Roger. Okay, that sounds like a uh, sounds like a plan because I'm definitely uh, trying to get better at this, Bill. Roger. Right now, looking at your audio on my spectrum analyzer, I'm seeing a, a bunch of activity in the uh, in the upper mids, uh, and uh, nothing on the bottom end too much, and nothing on the the real top end too much. So uh, that's where we need to uh, to work on it. So maybe um, uh, if you could uh, give me a call there next Friday, uh, shortly after uh, say uh, around uh, 3:45 or somewhere in there, if you get a chance. Uh, we'll see if uh, we could uh, make some uh, some uh, EQ uh, corrections, Roger. That definitely sounds like a plan. Uh, on that frequency here. Yes, sir. We do a QSO vlog from uh, three thirty till five on Friday afternoons on this frequency, seventy one eighty eight. Lucky to be home this time, but I will definitely uh, reach out and see if I can catch you by the radio. Roger, Roger. Okay, sir. 73 down that way. And uh, where is down that way? Where are you located, sir? I am in Waukegan, Illinois, sir. Illinois. Roger, Roger. Uh, Kenny, uh, we'll say 73 to you, sir. Have a great uh, afternoon, beautiful weekend, and uh, join us next Friday. Roger. Roger, Roger. I will do that. Have a great weekend, and most of all, have a safe one there, over. Roger, and if you want to hear where your audio is now, uh, we have been recording, and we have got you recorded, so uh, if you go to YouTube and do a call letter search for Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor, uh, along with today's date, 11 13 20, that will take you to our QSO, of, will take you exactly to this recording. And you'll be at the end of this recording if you wanted to speed read down to it, but uh, you might find uh, some of the other portions of this uh, broadcast uh, interesting as far as uh, stations checking in and their sounds and then uh, you know you'll be able to hear your sound and you'll probably hear what I'm talking about about maybe need needing to broaden out your uh, your EQ curve just a little bit so we'll say 73 uh, for now uh, Kenny and we'll see you next uh, Friday and with that uh, gosh uh, 17 minutes past five we've been a pumpkin for 17 minutes that's what happened to it I was uh, going through the uh, the um, morphous of becoming a, um, a pumpkin there anyway we got to get out of here uh, so we'll say three is all and uh, we've enjoyed it hope you have and if so join us next Friday uh, now we uh, will be returning this frequency to normal amateur radio use this is Kilo Charlie 9 Victor Kilo Victor clear